Hello everyone and welcome to yet another review for this week. We have today something that is really familiar to some of you because the game that we are reviewing today was released long time ago in 2016 as early access on Steam. It's really had a lot of good updates, some bad updates and finally it was released on the Nintendo Switch. But today's review is going to be actually on PC because this is where we think the game shines the most. We're talking about Astroneer, and before we dive deep into the world of their Astroneer, why it is good and what's cool about it, I would like to ask you to press the notification bell on our channel, which is leading to meaning that you're probably subscribed to us already. Drop in the comments which next game you would like us to review, like this video, and I'll see you, well, in the review. So, today's guest is Astroneer, which is a sandbox adventure game that was released back in 2016. Like I said, it had a lot of ups and downs, and finally, now it is its best where it could be. Astroneer is actually a third-person space adventure, mixing survival, creation through the sandbox type of game. It is where you see your little Astroneer crash land the planet, leaving it up for you to work how to survive, how to create new items and tech, and how to escape the planet, to land somewhere else you would think go all around. The game story is set during 25th century intergalactic age of discovery where extraneers explore the frontiers of outer space, risking their lives as harsh environments and raise rare discoveries and unlock the mysteries of the universe. The Earth-like planet you dropped on is Silva, one of the seven planets in the fictional solar system. I like the Steam version in the Switch version, by the way, there is kind of a little bit a step-by-step -step tutorial, unfortunately, but for the PC version where we reviewed it, there was one, so be careful when you're gonna dive deep on, let's say, Switch, you might miss it, and you might be really kind of lost on what exactly you need to do. Anyway, there is a picture tutorial in the menu instead for the Switch version. Personally, I prefer a proper tutorial on Switch also, but, well, one other day. Anyway, let's stick to the PC review. There is a mission in the beginning where you have to lock check which does a help orientation of your getting started in the game. Working through the quest on the mission log gives you rewards that comes in useful. At the start you have only a shelter which provides you with the both power and oxygen wherever you need it. After that you'll get a landing pad which can spawn from some starting items. That what follows is entirely up to you. Let's say in the beginning of the game you have a lot of different stuff to do and then move on, move on, move on, grabbing rewards will get a lot of things. Since the game started in a space, oxygen is vital. Getting an out of range in the oxygen in the shelter or any other resources of oxygen will steeply deplete your oxygen bar. Without it, your astronaut will collapse and be returned to the shelter. Unfortunately, they also lose their backpack with any resources that have been collected. Through you can react and spot back to the previous place and retrieve the resources. At first you can't explore too much away from your base, but once you have made the tether lines and supply yourself with an oxygen, you can venture into the resources sites and the tunnels. Using the terrain tool, a gun that stacks to the resources from the ground, you can also shape the terrain. You can go deep into the ground searching for resources and reshape a terrain to expand your base. That actually makes the game pretty interesting and pretty fun that you actually see all the fruit of your work. It's actually pretty funny and the pretty amazing, but the downfall, well, it's basically really difficult to get to the part where you will do it all. I wouldn't be really lying when starting the game in the first hours the game was pretty big core for me. It didn't look like how it worked, but not used to it after an hour around for the two and then. I'm pretty sure in 2 it here you get a lot of fun, but then it's very interesting to dive when you really understand how the things are working. Once you get past of the lack of tutorial, you find yourself progressing in the game. The game might remind you something like um, No Man's Sky or something like that, but believe me, there is a big difference in the game overall. If you like crafting games, you will love this kind of relaxing gameplay you can get in Astroneer, where you can actually explore a lot kind of things, you can craft a lot of kind of things, and then the building part is really very cool. Graphically, the game is also really very attractive, and you will really enjoy it. So, to, to be honest, after 2016 the game really developed a lot, and right now, the way how it looks is really, really very cool. I think you would really enjoy it a lot, and will be expired at, actually, I would say, 
you would really spend a lot of time in the game if you would hook, be hooked in a really, let's say, first hour of the game. So sum it up, I would give Estronir something around 7 or 8, because of how cool overall the game is. You could spend a lot of time in it, and it will still not be boring for you. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next review. Ciao guys.